Hello, Paul. Uh, your second lab is about identifying the external components of uh, the boiler, 5 tube boiler, external component and uh, external fittings that is associated with the 5 tube boiler. And you know that uh, we have a 5 tube boiler in our thermal lab, and the, the thermal lab boiler uh, is not fired now. Just, uh, we are showing you the components only. Just first of all, uh, let you have a, an overall view of the boiler. In the lab 2, you are asked to identify some components, external components of the boiler. The first one is uh, about the side glass or gauge glass. This one, can you see this one? You can see the water level in the boiler over here. This is the side, uh, side glass or gauge glass you know associated with the pipe to boiler actually it is mounted in front of another uh, you know fitting known as water column this is the water column you can see that it is made up of very strong material and uh, this uh, uh, side glass is mounted in front of the water column and the basic function of the side glass is to give you the indication of the level of water inside the boiler and there is a water, water column over here in order to stabilize or uh, dampen the effect of turbulence of water inside the boiler so that we will get a clear uh, you know stabilized level over here first one this is side glass and this is water column and the third one is about hand hole this is the hand hole see this is normally used for minor inspections and also if you wanted to see the internals from outside, you will be using this hand port. But normally, for big, uh, you know, boilers, there will be manhole as well. But for this, there is no manhole. Manhole allows people to uh, have access to the inside of the boiler. But here we have only hand port. Here we have one hand port, and another hand port is situated over here, and one more in the other side. You know that uh, normally this steel housing is known as shell whereas this is known as the head the shell, the shell plus the head constitute the drum of the boiler normally for 5-2 boiler we call it as shell and uh, for the water 2 boiler we collectively call it as drum the next uh, part is about uh, boiler feed water inlet you know, we have discussed about the boiler feed water in the class. Uh, you know, as you know, the feed water before it is being admitted to the boiler, it is being subjected to different treatments, the external and internal treatment. But after it is being treated, we are not showing you the treatment uh, treatment system over here. Maybe in, the, in one of the classes, we will try to show you the treatment system. But after treatment, the, the boiler feed wa water will be admitted over here using the feed valve this is the boiler feed water valve normally um, it is a it's like an isolation valve or in some cases it will be check valve as well it will allow only flow in one direction we don't want the boiler water to return that's why they use a non-return valve anyway this is the boiler feed water valve see you can see that the boiler feed water is normally preheated and so it is being insulated because it comes at a certain temperature and is admitted over here so this is the boiler feed water inlet then the next part is about the first draft fan motor it is on the other side of the boiler see here you have the instrument cluster over the instrument panel over here and then uh, you see here is the uh, the, the forced draft fan motor which supplies air to the uh, furnace actually the combustion chamber is inter inside it's an, it's an, uh, an internally fired boiler so the, the combustion chamber is associated with the shell itself and uh, the, the air required for combustion will be supplied with, with this forced fan motor the next uh, uh, part is flame scanner actually this extends to, into the inside of the combustion chamber the purpose of the flame scanner as we explained in the, in the class 
it, it will be continuously scanning for the presence of the flame and if it doesn't detect a flame for four seconds for say, say for example it may send a signal to the fuel supply valve to cut off the fuel supply here is the flame scanner this is very important safety device that continuously scans for the presence of the flame if it doesn't detect a flame it will send a signal to the fuel supply valve to stop or shut off the fuel supply because otherwise if you are uh, firing or if you are admitting uh, either fuel without flame it can get accumulated over here and it can lead to explosion in order to avoid that one the flame scanner is continually continually monitoring the presence of the flame so it's a very important safety device the next one is about fuel inlet see there are there is an air inlet and fuel inlet this is the fuel inlet fuel there is a fuel pump i'll show you the fuel pump this is the fuel pump and this is the motor for the pump the fuel pump uh, you know the fuel is coming through uh, the uh, filter and then it comes over here and admitted to the uh, combustion chamber actually there is a regulation valve and also there is an atomizer inside for inside to atomize the fuel uh, this uh, this uh, fire tube boiler is uh, oil fired there can be the fuel can be either oil or uh, it can be gas natural gas or diesel or uh, uh, gasoline etc but this is a diesel fired uh, fire tube boiler the next component is uh, steam pressure gauge you can see this pressure gauge over here see you remember we have discussed about different types of pressure gauges which is used as a fitting for the boiler this is one of the pressure gauges you see you can see the the unit over here it is psi you see you can see the uh, the range is from 0 to 400 psi actually this uh, uh, boiler the operating pressure is normally 150 psi this is the pressure gauge okay and also there is another gauge over here but it indicates the temperature this is a temperature gauge which indicates the temperature of the steam okay and another one another component is glimpse glass to see the flame in the furnace can you see this one over here this is the glimpse glass through which you can see the flame inside the in the combustion chamber from outside you will be able to see with your naked eye whether the the, the flame is there inside the uh, the furnace or the the, the 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 burning flame can be seen from outside next is steam outlet i will take you to the the back side of the boiler here this is the steam outlet you can see that uh, uh, boiler steam line this is the steam outlet pipe from where uh, through which the steam is taken out to the steam chest or steam header or we can call it a steam manifold as well okay. this is the steam outlet pipe and this one is the steam stop valve in order to stop the flow of steam out we can use this steam stop valve and the and the speciality about this valve is this is also a unidirectional valve it is normally a check valve so that the retain of steam is not allowed the, it will not allow the uh, flow to reverse that's why it's a non retain valve and then there is another safety feature uh, which is uh, a low water fuel cut low water cutoff this is a low water cutoff actually whenever there is a you know uh, drop in the water level in the boiler this will be sensing that one and accordingly it will send a signal to the fuel supply valve to shut off or close the valve actually this can be this is normally there are low waters uh, cut off shall be of two types normally like uh, float operated or prop electrical prop operated okay next one is pressure safety valve this is also, I just wanted to show you that one. This is the pressure safety valve. 
You can see this one, this uh, brass color one is the pressure safety valve. See, for any reason, if the pressure inside the boiler goes beyond the set pressure, this safety valve will pop open and release the pressure. There is a hand lever also here. It can be operated manually by using this one. If you lift this one, this can be operated manually also. Also, Normally, it is automatic. It is There is a preset pressure and the normal position is closed position. And whenever the, the pressure goes beyond that the pressure, the valve will be activated and it will release the pressure. The next one is about uh, blowdown valves. There are two blowdown valves over here. There are two blowdown valves. You can see normally this is a very quick action valve. One is seal valve and another one is quick. Okay, anyway, this is the blowdown valve. There are two valves are there in parallel. This is the blowdown valves. And these are the main components that you are asked to uh, to mark in the or identify in the lab two. Also, one more thing I just wanted to, to show you is the steam, steam header or steam chest. You see, you can see the, the, the boiler line comes over here and it is feeding the main steam header. This is not a steam header. From here, other uh, utilities or other equipment will be provided with steam. You see, branch pipes are going. For example, this is going to another equipment. This is going to the deaeration unit. This is going to the steam turbine. This is going to the atmospheric vent. See, the, from the steam uh, in the uh, uh, supply valve, it comes to the steam header. And the steam header is like a large storage pipe. And from there, the branch pipes are taking the steam to the required equipment or for the required application. Or in the plant also, it's like that. From the steam header, we'll be supplying this to utility to different parts of the plant or the facilities. Thank you.